this is a crazy day. Holy crap. I went to my appointment. I'm 37 weeks and four days, I think. I was diagnosed this past Friday with gestational hypertension. Um, they put me on bed rest. Went in today. Blood pressure still high. And I knew that would mean something. Um, and then they said that I'm being induced either tonight or tomorrow. And then I just got the call. And we're going in at 5 a.m. on March 9th, 2021. But this is crazy. I feel like I'm in a twilight zone. And don't know how to function. Like, what am I supposed to do all day? Until 5 a.m. I'm not going to be able to sleep. Oh, gosh. But, guess sleep while you can, right? Um, I'm so nervous and excited. But, this is just a day we knew was coming. But now that it's, like, coming, it's like, what? Yeah. Like, I feel like it's so far away. 5 a.m. is so far away compared to, like, us thinking we still had, like, a few days in one Dolly, we're about to have Ivy. Are you so excited? Last little bump video with Ivy. <laughs> we're having our last meal as a family of two. Three in my belly. Well, four, we include her. <laughs> um, how are you feeling? Incredible. I feel just a lot of different emotions. Like, I've told people all day, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't feel real. But the later it's getting and knowing, okay, we're eating dinner, we're going to go to bed, and then wake up, and it's going to be baby day. And it's here. And it, like, makes me emotional because it's just mind-blowing. We're about to have a baby. Me and you. I know. Also. It is March the 9th, 2021, and we're going to have a baby today. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. Um... I woke up at 2.30 and showered and did my hair and makeup. Don't judge. I'm sad that this bump is going away today. She don't even know it yet that she's coming today. This is a crazy day. I'm just praying that she's healthy and that I'm healthy. And I'm so excited to see Hunter become a dad. And gosh, this is just insane. He's packing the car right now. So about to go in there, eat some breakfast, and then we'll be on the way. We're meeting our baby today. We sure are. We uh, just finished packing the car. Well, sorry. Dolly. Dolly knows something's going on. Yeah. She's like, it is way too early. What's going on? All right, here's a quick room tour. Big. Yeah. Look. She's going to be right there. Sure is. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. And they got my bed set up and all my fun stuff. Hunter's bed. And then we've got to unload all of that. Um, this is a nice room. Here, get my attire. Here it is. <laughs> They started my Pitocin. Um, so I have been having contractions regularly before I've even gotten here. Um, I've been having them since like a long time, 30 weeks, <laughs> but they've just gotten, they've increased. So I'm curious to see how the Pitocin, I guess speeds it up or makes me feel it more. But this is just crazy that she's gonna be right there. Hunter's in there. In the loo. Is that what it's called? The loo. The loo. And there's my mama. The rule, visitor rules just last week. So it was like perfect timing. So she gets to be here um, and gonna help do whatever and then video for us to get special moments that we just want to capture. So this is exciting. I'm um, three centimeters. She felt the baby's head move when she was checking me. Uh, ice chips. I had breakfast before we came. Um, a light breakfast, but this is crazy. I'm a mermaid, as Hunter calls. About to be a dad. Can't wait. I'm nervous about them breaking my water. 
but I'm excited that she'll be right over there. Yep. Right but on your area. <laughs> on my area. <laughs> <laughs> on my booty. Nurses came in and they told me that apparently my COVID test yesterday was positive. So, yes, I boohooed. <laughs> Um, because they said that would change a lot of things, but they did another test. Boohooed again because that hurts so bad. Um, a rapid test, so we're about to see if it was a false negative, positive, whatever. Because I don't have any symptoms, so hashtag confused. And then, um, all I know is if I am positive, Hunter wouldn't be able to come and go, but I mean, he's not going to come and go anyways. But as for my mom, like we wouldn't be able to have any other visitors, so bummer. But all I'm worried about is the baby, and hopefully, it was a false positive. So, so the water has been broken. Yeah, that was a because um, I watched a lot of different. I watched other vlogs and it seemed like fun, like no biggie. And they even like, oh, it's, it just feels like a cervical exam. Uh, Miller, that hurt so bad. <laughs> like that, I don't know if maybe it, well, he did say she was giving him a hard time. So yeah. maybe he had to like move her to like pop it or I don't know. But I've told Hunter. It was terrifying. That hurt so bad. And it took like a little bit, like yeah. to get it popped. Yeah, it did. But, um, I've always wondered what it was like to feel your water break. And I would I was always scared I wouldn't know when my water would break. I would have known. Like that is a weird feeling. It's just warm pee, you know? And then I had to get up to go pee. And then I got up and just more comes out running down my leg. Uh, and then it's like blood. Uh, you know? Uh, yeah, nasty. But um I have had a few contractions since they broke my water. And I can tell they're getting more intense. So, I'm curious to see how they start to feel. Yeah. I just can't. I'm getting like, we're about to have a baby. You know? I know. Oh, can't gosh, wait. This is crazy. Um, still waiting on my COVID result test. They had to come in here in their trash bags. In the old trash bags. And everybody has been so great. All my nurses have been wonderful. Yep. And I love our doctor, my doctor, and, um, Oh, see, I'm starting to get one. They're, they're right here. Ew. They're right here. Ew. You can see one, two, and they've gone on that third one. Yeah. That one's more intense. Ew, I just feel so gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Contractions? Yeah. Go, baby. You're sweet. We gotta have this girl out of there. By 7.30. Yeah, 16 minutes. <laughs> Contractions getting close. Together. Yeah. Uh, I hear boho. What does that mean? It's kind of really tight to the bar. Feather. <laughs> Hunter, what's boho? I don't know. It's still in deadlines. <laughs> <laughs> what we doing? Bouncing on the ball. Bouncing. Yep. Moving them hips. Uh, Your hips don't lie. Mm -hmm. Excellent. They, these contractions are getting closer. So we're starting to have one. Oh, we never guessed the time. Oh, yeah. Okay, y'all guess. I'm on ball. <laughs> Bouncing. Having um, very frequent contractions. They're getting way more painful. I can't really talk through them now whenever they come on, but... This is an update. <laughs> they got Starbucks. So we had the. Yes. Are you like pushing my back? Low back? Hey baby. <laughs> you can do it. I love you. Love you. Epidural. Okay. Getting epidural. Yep. 
Princess. Yes, I'm position. in a princess position. Yeah. You look so comfortable. Yeah. My um, COVID test, the second one came back negative. Negative. Woohoo. Excellent. Um, they're having. We're six centimeters. Mm -hmm. She's in position what, zero. Her head dropped. And how, how what a face? 70? Yeah. 70%. 70% mm -hmm. face. And it is 12, 18. about to come and put my epidural back on because I'm getting all my feeling back. They had to turn it off because we had some technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> but everything's good now? Yeah. yeah. It felt yeah. like they were about to do a full code on me with all these people coming, storming in the room saying, what's going on, what's going on? And I'm just laid back and hearing all the commotion. Yeah. But we I'm just had a few blood pressure <laughs> drops and my epidural made it up too far. So. A little too much medicine for the small gal. Attraction. All right, it's twelve thirty, and now we're ten centimeters. What do you say, Mama? I'm nervous. <laughs> did it eight minutes four pushes and she's here she is here so she's doing skin to skin with her daddy right now this is we crazy update because it all happened very quickly there was no way to update because you should go in your videos and look at whatever time was my last update because yeah. we had her at 12 45 so yeah i started um pushing at what was it? 12.37. 12.37. And we had her at 12.45. And I did not have an epidural. I'm very proud of myself. That was unintentional. They had they had to stop my epidural earlier. So I started feeling everything again. And they literally, I was having the contractions where she was coming out. And yeah, <laughs> where she was coming out. And so they tried, they started it back and then I was pushing to have her. So I did not have no epidural. I felt mm -hmm. everything. The ring of fire is a real thing. Um, I was scared and I just am in disbelief that our beautiful baby girl is here and she looks just like her daddy. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I don't know how her wants to lay. I know. I was her trying to figure it out. She's so pretty. She's five pounds, 12 ounces, born at 12.45, 19 inches long. 
Is that all her? Oh, oh goodness. goodness. We're trying to, like, we've never, like, done this before. So, we're trying to figure out how to hold a baby. <laughs> and how to... I think she's looking for some milk. Oh. So, this is exciting. Gosh, what? I just feel so, like, I'm in awe. Like. You did so good. You were a great cheerleader. Oh, Chrissy, Daddy. Uh, the sharp thing and her. Yeah. Getting some snoozies. Our baby's right there. And she's back to the Cordal party of three. Getting ready to leave. Packing all of our stuff. Getting it all together. Glasses. Baby's over there. <laughs> it's like bittersweet. Like I'm so excited to take her home. Yeah. But it's just like we had her here. I know. And she's already almost two days old. She's beautiful, just like you. Sweet. Your glasses. I know. I mean... <sighs> Holy crap! You're hot. Oh gosh. I'm yeah. so lucky, y'all. I did my makeup for birth, but not for anything else. You don't need it for anything else. Mm -hmm. Almost looking great. Everything's going good. Blood yep. pressure's still a little high, but we're just gonna keep watch on it at home. Mm-hmm. And I love her. I know, look how little. 